Art has always drawn people together. Our earliest ancestors drew animals they hunted in cave locations that were also sites of communal gathering. We have been creating utilitarian objects with aesthetic value for over 5,000 years. And in fact, scientists today are trying to understand how the arts may have offered evolutionary advantages to early humans and assisted in the growth of human civilization. The two works that we are going to look at today highlight this special power of the arts to bring people together and celebrate community, tradition and life itself. On the one hand, we have a work by Tadek Butlek titled Tree of Life, currently with the Crafts Council in London, UK. On the other is a painting by Wali artist Jivya Soma Mashe from the collection of MAP Bangalore. I'm delighted to introduce the work held in the textile collection, Tree of Life by Tadek Butlik. It was made around the early 1990s, we think around 1992. The title Tree of Life was given to this work by the collector, but Butlik repeated the same titles for many of his works, and there are other similar works simply titled Figures in a Tree. The work is a wall-mounted woven textile art piece depicting 14 rows of figures standing on 14 branches of a tree form, decreasing in number with the top two branches each supporting a single standing figure. Before we look more closely at the Warli piece itself, let's talk a little bit about the community that it comes from. The Warlis are an ancient tribe from the Thane district of Maharashtra who follow an oral tradition of passing down knowledge through songs and stories. The grammar of their art is simple, composed of the most primitive shapes derived from nature. The circle represents the sun and moon, the triangle is derived from trees and mountains, and the square, a shape that's not really found in nature and thus used to depict sacred enclosures in the Warli vocabulary. Traditionally, the art form was ritualistic and practiced only by women. Since the 1970s, the practice has moved off the walls onto canvas and paper and is now mainly undertaken by men as a more portable creative practice from which an income can be derived. Warli was made famous in our times by Jivya Soma Mashe, regarded by many as the father of modern Wali painting. While Mashe popularized Wali paintings, Butlik was a true pioneer of the textile art and the off-loom technique of weaving. Tadeusz, known as Tadek Butlik, was an emigre to the UK. He was born in Poland in 1922 and died in England in 2011 at the age of 88. Butlik first studied textiles in the late 1930s at the Polish School of Art, where he was introduced to weaving, along with painting and stained glass. After serving in the army, Butlick came to England and studied painting and drawing, but later transferred to Camberwell School of Arts and Crafts, where he focused on textiles. A visual commonality between Mache and Butlick's work is the rendering of the human figure. In fact, some of the creative influences in his print and textile work included folk art and continental modernism. Mache was the first to step out of the tradition of painting only as a ritual to painting on a daily basis and tracing his motifs on canvas. A unique characteristic about Mache was that he continued to use traditional materials to paint. Red ochre for the background made from a mixture of branches, soil and red brick. White for the figures made from rice paste, water and a binding gum. And a chewed twig as the paintbrush. This painting from Map's collection is one by the same artist. It depicts a scene of celebration and festivities and the central focus of the work is the ceremonial Tarpa dance, a spiral formation created by dancing men and women with the Tarpa player in the centre. The depiction may have symbolic associations to the interdependence of all human beings on each other and on nature. Each figure in the spiral is dancing individually but they are also dancing together, as if to a single tune of life in one inward direction. Tree of Life is an example of his post-1974 work that's totally three-dimensional, small in scale, and both modest and fiery. For its elements, Tadek Butlik coined the term free walls, which were strands of grass bound with colour, and these were joined in clusters, sometimes woven together, to form a structure dictated by their own strength. 
Woven entirely off loom, the work does not include any of the wrapped yarn textile elements that he used in early organic work, such as vibrations and cheering crowds, also in the Crafts Council collection. On his return to England, following a period of time in Spain, the colour started to disappear from his work, with the natural tones and materials becoming increasingly prominent. Made in Esparto grass and sisal, the structure of Tree of Life is centred around a tree with rows of figures connecting the branches, arms aloft in a joyous celebratory pose. Yet there's a hint towards his later work that sees the figures becoming cocoon-like and hopeless and a reference to the traumas of war. Around the central motif are many smaller details about scenes from the village and if you look closely enough, you might find yourself transported to this charming environment. Inside thatch houses, people cook, chat and take care of their infants. Outdoors, it's a busy day with people going to the market, smoking pipes and even climbing trees to tap some toddy. An interesting commonality between these two pieces is the fact that they both use nature as an inspiration as well as a medium. The inspiration from folk art took a new form with the structures retaining the woven techniques and the works focused on figures in groups often crowded onto structures such as trees and scaffolds. He used his off-loom technique to create figurative groups whose collective helplessness recall Goya or Bosch, both of whom he greatly admired. The works defy material and making and become pure narrative. Tree of Life has an openness and an optimism that fades in his later work. Figures are individually woven and grouped on the branches and later works see the woven form obscured by the addition of layers and coatings of PVA and dye soaked cotton wool and the emergence of grotesque and often distressing expressions. Like Cheering Crowds, another work gifted to the collection, there's a lightness and a sense of community within this work. Despite the pathos of the figures themselves, they're somewhat magical and evocative of the spark felt on return to the childhood delights of first encounters with things that are not what they seem. Enigmatic in both life and work, Butelik's work bore witness to his intense involvement with the nature and qualities of materials, jute, mohair, camel hair, horse hair and sisal, as well as wool. As an integral element in the structural forms of his pieces, these materials lent themselves to the creation of images that are powerful, disturbing and unequivocally organic. In addition to that, both these works also signify a common idea, the interconnectedness of everything in the universe. Whether it is Butelik's Tree of Life or Mache's Tarpa dancers that move in an eternal spiral, they both symbolize togetherness and serve as a reminder that you are never alone or isolated.